Hello guys, this is Deepika from mytutorialrack.com. In this tutorial, we will see what are these different Salesforce integration and what are the reasons to integrate the Salesforce with Heroku. One of the reasons that we have is to integrate Salesforce with Heroku is data replication. And the another one we have is called as data proxy. So what do you mean by data replication and data proxy? So let's start with data replication. In data replication, you basically copy or sync the data between Salesforce and another system. In data proxy, you do not copy the data. You call it at the runtime. You do not copy the data in data proxy, but you copy or sync the data between the Salesforce and another system in data replication. So let's talk about data replication in detail. Data replication. So what do you mean by data replication? As I already told you, data replication is syncing or copying the data between Salesforce and another system. So let's assume we have a company and our company deals with hats, okay? They sell the uh, unicorn hats, okay? So these are a picture of hats. Now, next thing is, let's say we have a Salesforce, force.com application, which deals with the product information part it means it keeps track of how much product we have in the inventory what are the cost of the product etc so this system it takes care of the product information and this it runs on the force.com platform and then we also have a public website and this public website runs on node.js and java and built in Java and this particular website takes care of the ordering functionality. It takes care of the ordering functionality. So this is deployed, this particular application is deployed on Heroku and this application is deployed on force.com platform. So now we have two different applications running on two different platforms. The website uses, this particular public website uses the data to display the availability and provide you the order, order functionality. Now, since the public web application is running on Heroku, it makes more sense to replicate the product information, whatever is in here, to replicate this product information on a data store in Heroku. So basically, it makes more sense to replicate this data on over Heroku itself. It's because what will help is it will kind of uh, reduce the latency so it will be more faster and it makes more sense to have the data available on Heroku itself because website is using for its order functionality is using the data from the product part. So in this case, the data replication makes sense.